Dear friends, welcome to yet another installment of Orbital Geek. In this video, we'll explore the largest stars ever observed in the immensity of the known universe. We will behold the most massive ones and those with the greatest volume, and how these celestial marvels compare to our modest sun. We will unveil the incredible dimensions of cosmic giants like R136A1, UY Scuti, Stevenson 18, and the current largest known, WOH G64. But could this last one really hold the throne of the largest star? Its estimates vary drastically, as if nature itself steps back before the immensity of these creatures. Stay with us until the end to find out what is the largest star in the universe according to the most recent measurements. On a clear, moonless night, our eyes encounter a vast, sparkling carpet of myriad stars. However, this celestial vision is but a tiny glimpse of what truly inhabits the cosmic immensity. When contemplating our galaxy, the Milky Way, through powerful telescopes, billions more stars will be unveiled. In fact, it's estimated that our galaxy harbors between 1 and 400 billion stars. And if we cast our gaze even further, towards neighboring galaxies and the infinity that surrounds them, we come across an incalculable number of these celestial marvels. The star nearest to us, the Sun, seems an imposing giant, the largest celestial body in our solar system, whose rising and setting we witness daily. And although it eclipses most things around it, our Sun is actually only of medium size. The universe harbors much larger stars that are not just a bit larger, they are stunningly more voluminous, so what is the size of the largest star we've observed so far? What is the theoretical maximum size that stars can reach? And what happened to UY Scuti? Your like and comment are extremely important to us. They help the algorithm recommend our video to more people, which is essential for the growth of our channel, especially now that we're just starting out. If you can, leave a comment, even if just a simple hello. Your participation makes all the difference. When it comes to the largest stars in the known universe, it depends on whether we're talking about mass or total volume. Mass can be thought of as the amount of matter a star contains, while volume is the space it occupies. The most massive stars tend to be quite insignificant when it comes to actual size, and the most voluminous stars often contain much less matter, considering their physical size. As stars age, they tend to lose their mass. This is something that's happening to the Sun as it ages, until eventually, in an estimated 5 billion years from now, after exhausting all its nuclear fuel, it will evolve into a bloated red giant, engulfing the orbits of Mercury, Venus, and possibly even Earth. And although that process will make our Sun enormous, there are stars out there that are much larger. Before contemplating the one that holds the actual largest physical size, let's cast our gaze upon the star with the greatest mass currently known, called R136A1. This star has an estimated mass of 226 times that of the Sun, 226 entire solar masses compressed into a single celestial body. How this star achieved such mass is a mystery not yet fully unraveled, but it may be the result of the merger of two stars. Scientific models suggest R136A1 is only 7.5 million years old, making it extremely young compared to the age of 4.6 billion years of our Sun and that it has also been rapidly losing mass since its birth, with models indicating it has already lost 20 solar masses due to how active it is. It is believed it will inevitably meet a catastrophic end, most likely a supernova that will leave a black hole behind. But although R136A1 is extremely massive, it's nowhere near being the largest in physical size, with an estimated radius only 37.5 times that of the Sun. Not even close. If you Google what is the largest star in the universe, you'll get pages from sites saying it's UY Scuti, a red supergiant that a few years ago was considered the largest star in physical size ever observed. It was originally measured as being about 1,700 times the size of the Sun. However, it was discovered that UY Scuti's distance from Earth had been incorrectly measured, significantly altering its estimated radius to 725 times the size of the Sun, definitively removing it from that peak. This new measurement actually places UI Scuti closer in size to popular stars like Betelgeuse or Antares, still incredibly huge, but nowhere near the largest. In fact, it currently doesn't even make the top 80. And as for another star that was also considered the largest just a few years ago, called Stevenson 18, 
a possible red hypergiant. It was estimated to be so large that if placed in our solar system, it would engulf Saturn's orbit. And if you could travel around it at the speed of light, it would take almost nine hours to complete one loop. In comparison, making the same trip around the Sun would take just 14.5 seconds. Some estimates place Stevenson 18 as being 2,150 times the radius of the Sun. But according to stellar evolution theory, this may be problematic because there may also be a theoretical limit to how large stars can apparently grow. According to the theory, the limit a star can grow to is about 1,500 times the radius of the Sun. This could mean that Stevenson 18 was overestimated, possibly due to its distance from Earth being uncertain by up to 50%, which, like UI Scuti, would significantly alter its estimated size. But again, from what I could find, there is no definitive equation that determines how large a star can grow, as it depends not just on mass, but also on composition, evolutionary history, and strength of its stellar wind. For potential giants like Stevenson 18, the outer atmosphere can, in theory, continue expanding and growing essentially without limit. However, at some point, the diffuse gas of its outer layers merges with the interstellar medium and can no longer be considered the stellar surface. So when it comes to measuring the size of a gigantic star, it ends up not being an easy task. These objects are, of course, extremely large. Thousands to millions of times the volume of the Sun are extremely distant and are extremely luminous. And as I mentioned, they also tend to have very extensive atmospheres and photospheres that are constantly changing and often shrouded in huge dust clouds, making their true size very difficult to discern. Nevertheless, astronomers attempt this using a variety of different factors like the distance and environment around a star. By uncovering these measurements, among other things, they can roughly get estimates that fall within a smaller or larger area of confidence. So based on our best measurements, what is the current largest star in the known universe? Well, according to the list of largest known stars, this title is currently held by a red supergiant called WOHG64, a star located about 163,000 light years away in a neighboring satellite galaxy called the Large Magellanic Cloud. WOH G64 has an estimated radius of 1,540 times that of the Sun, meaning that if it were to take the Sun's place in our solar system, it would engulf the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even Jupiter. This measured radius also fits well with that theoretical growth limit and is consistent with many other large red supergiants found elsewhere. WH G64 is likely in the final stages of its stellar evolution. These types of stars have exhausted their nuclear fuel, leading to the expansion of their outer layers, transforming them into true cosmic giants. The huge star is also shrouded in a donut-shaped dust cloud nearly a light year across, consisting of material it has shed. Incredibly, it's estimated that if all the material in the donut cloud were collected, it would be enough to make nine entire solar systems. So have we finally resolved it? Is WOH G64 the largest star in the known universe? Well, probably not, because there have been other studies that have also measured this behemoth and gotten a completely different measurement. While one source placed it at 2,575 times the radius of the Sun, making it much larger than even the possibly overestimated size of Stevenson 18. If this were correct, then it would easily engulf Saturn's orbit and if you could once again travel around it at the speed of light, it would take nearly 10 and a half hours to complete one loop. In comparison, light from the Sun takes just under four hours to reach Pluto. So while it's clear the universe is filled with some truly enormous stars at different stages of their evolution, until we can gather more precise measurements, which is the largest of them all, is unclear. However, with constant advances in observational techniques and technologies, astronomers will be able to refine their measurements and thus better understand these cosmic behemoths. WOH G64 may well be the largest star ever observed in the known universe, but something tells me that top spot will change again. Let's be honest, my dear friends. No matter how advanced our understanding of the cosmos is, the true size of the largest stars remains a baffling mystery. Imprecise distances, conflicting measurements, and the very diffuse nature of these red giants create a web of uncertainties. WOH G64 may well be the largest so far, with its radius estimated between 1,540 and 2,575 times greater than the Sun's. 
Or perhaps Stevenson 18 takes that throne, with dimensions so vast that it would take us nearly 10 hours traveling at the speed of light to circumnavigate it. But would we be naive to believe we know the true limits of stellar growth? Nature may be laughing at our theories at this very moment, molding cosmic monsters beyond our wildest imagination. Leave in the comments, what would be the maximum possible size for a star, according to your own speculations? The best answer will win a lifetime subscription to the channel.